Hello and welcome to Health Watch. I'm Sophie Scott. If you think that obesity is simply caused by overeating, well, think again. New research has revealed that some obese children, a missing link in their DNA, may hold the key. But dietitians suggest that the old adage, you are what you eat, still holds true. For a long time, scientists have debated whether it's nature or nurture causing the massive explosion in childhood obesity. Now new research suggests it's not what's in the genes, but what's missing. I think genetics play a very large role, and that is indicated by the similarity in weight in identical twins that have either reared together or reared apart. There is no difference. Scientists in Britain compared the DNA of 300 obese children with 7,000 healthy weight people. They were looking for what are known as copy number variants. These are large chunks of DNA which are duplicated or deleted from our genes. In obese children, researchers found that some of those segments of DNA were missing. What um, is gradually emerging is the, the importance of our genes in the regulation of body weight. Dietitians say despite genetics, what you eat plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy weight. Even if we might have a genetic disposition to be larger than the average person, that doesn't mean that we can eat whatever we want. We still need to follow a healthy diet. The findings open the door for better understanding of what leads people to be overweight. Australian researchers have stumbled across a unique way to help people with chronic pain. They've found that an antibiotic used to treat acne can actually make pain medications more effective. Almost half a million Australians live with neuropathic pain. It's caused when something in the nervous system goes wrong. Almost all the drugs that we have currently for chronic pain try to calm down overactive nerve cells. That helps a bit, but it causes side effects, doesn't work in everybody. Only a few years ago, scientists discovered that people with neuropathic pain release immune markers in the brain that makes them more sensitive to discomfort. And they've found a simple way to use this new knowledge. We now know that there are some antibiotics out there in the market that uh, do other things apart from being antibiotics. And what they do is they dampen down this immune uh, system so that the, uh, the cause of this pain is dampened down. So it's a very interesting new area for the treatment of neuropathic pain. Researchers from the University of Adelaide gave patients with sciatica an antibiotic called minocycline, usually used to treat pimples. And what we have found is that uh, following the antibiotic minocycline, that patients' pain sensitivity was less. That means that the drugs that are on the market for this type of neuropathic pain work a lot better and patients actually also get less side effects from those medications. Researchers are planning a trial where people will be given the antibiotic just before a painful operation to see if it can lessen discomfort after the procedure. That's all for Health Watch for this week. We'll see you next week.